a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Robot Locomotion Robot locomotion is the collective name for the various methods that robots use to transport themselves from place to place. Wheeled robots are typically quite energy efficient and simple to control. However, other forms of locomotion may be more appropriate for a number of reasons. For example traversing rough terrain, as well as moving and interacting in human environments. Furthermore, studying bipedal and insect-like robots may beneficially impact on biomechanics. A major goal in this field is in developing capabilities for robots to autonomously decide how, when, and where to move. However, coordinating a large number of robot joints for even simple matters, like negotiating stairs, is difficult. Autonomous robot locomotion is a major technological obstacle for many areas of robotics, such as humanoids. Rolling in terms of energy efficiency on flat surfaces, wheeled robots are the most efficient. This is, because an ideal rolling wheel loses no energy. A wheel rolling at a given velocity needs no input to maintain its motion. This is in contrast to legged robots which suffer an impact with the ground at heel strike and lose energy as a result. For simplicity most mobile robots have four wheels or a number of continuous tracks. Some researchers have tried to create more complex wheeled robots with only one or two wheels. These can have certain advantages such as greater efficiency and reduced parts, as well as allowing a robot to navigate in confined places that a four-wheeled robot would not be able to. Examples, Bobot, Cosmobot, Elma, Elsie, Enon, Hero, iRobot Create, iRobots Roomba, Johns Hopkins Beast, Land Walker, Modulus Robot, Musa, Omnibot, Papi Ro, Phobot, Pocket Delta Robot, Push the Talking Trash Can, RB5X, Rovio, Serapi, Shaky the Robot, Sony Roly, Spikey, TLR, Topo, TRR Anya, and Wakamru. Hopping Several robots, built in the 1980s by Mark Rabot at the MIT Leg Laboratory, successfully demonstrated very dynamic walking. Initially, a robot with only one leg, and a very small foot, could stay upright simply by hopping. The movement is the same as that of a person on a pogo stick. As the robot falls to one side, it would jump slightly in that direction, in order to catch itself. Soon, the algorithm was generalized to two and four legs. A bipedal robot was demonstrated running and even performing somersaults. A quadruped was also demonstrated which could trot, run, pace, and bound. Examples Slithering Several snake robots have been successfully developed. Mimicking the way real snakes move, these robots can navigate very confined spaces, meaning they may one day be used to search for people trapped in collapsed buildings. The Japanese ACMR5 snake robot can even navigate both on land and in water. Examples, snake arm robot, Roboboa, and snake bot. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?